In this video, I'm going to show you how to truly hide an Excel worksheet so that you can still reference the data in it, but other people cannot mess up your files. Hidden sheets are a great feature of Excel. It's much easier to look through a file when only the important worksheets are visible and you only have to focus on those. But a lot of times people unhide everything and tinker around and uh, wanna see how everything works. And this can often lead to people breaking your files, breaking your model logic, things like that. At the same time, in most situations, you don't want to take this sheet out out of the file and just leave the values in your model because you want to keep everything dynamic. But there's a clever way that you can truly hide an Excel worksheet uh, that I'm gonna show you right now. Let's open Excel. I have this really basic model here for the month of July. I have the revenue which pulls from the this public data uh, sheet where I have invoices and sales. And uh, then I have some other numbers and salaries you see is pulling from secret data but i don't have a secret data sheet here and uh, even if i right click unhide there's nothing here the idea here is that this is only taking the total and uh, i want the names of the people to be hidden there's a way to do that that uh, only people who know how to use uh, macros and uh, write uh, visual basic for applications code can unhide this sheet and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So I have this uh, secret data here that has uh, all the people and their salaries. And uh, usually what you do is if you want to retain a link here for the salaries, I can just go and uh, hide this uh, sheet. But then anyone can right click, unhide and see it. This uh, works in cases where you just want to hide things down here so that people are less likely to mess something up. But at the same time, it's uh, still too easy for them to unhide the thing. So in my experience, uh, hiding it a bit more and uh, actually putting some kind of like hurdle in front of people tends to keep your files less likely to get messed up. And uh, this is not a security feature, but I usually do that when I don't want people to like tinker around in specific worksheets because uh, a lot of people will just open, hit unhide, unhide everything because they want to see everything that's uh, in the file and uh, then they can end up messing something up. So the way to do this programmatic uh, hiding, uh, it's a tag that's called very hidden. So right clicking here, you can only switch between visible and hidden and uh, to do very hidden you need your uh, developer tab first so i'm gonna right click customize the ribbon and uh, i'm gonna show my developer tab once i have this one i'm gonna uh, open visual basic and uh, you see here that uh, i have this uh that's the vba project for my file don't worry if uh, you haven't seen this before it's super simple and i'm gonna show you like step by step what to do. It's going to take just two minutes. So we don't want to, uh, we can go ahead and write code here or we can insert modules, things like that. Uh, but uh, we don't want this code to reside in this sheet. We want it to be in Excel itself. And uh, there's this personal Excel workbook that's always open, never shown, and you can use it to store your macros. But uh, we don't have it here because we've never used it. So I'm going to close the editor. And uh, the way to, to, to get it to show up, this uh, personal uh, book, workbook, is uh, I'm going to hit record a macro. Just going to leave it like that. And here I'm going to say store macro in personal macro workbook. Hit OK. And uh, just going to do like that. And then stop recording. But I want the script. So now when we go to Visual Basic here, uh, you see here that we have this personal XLSB and in it there's a module module one where we have our macro saved. Let me just make uh, the text here a bit larger so it's easier to see. Okay that's much better. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna delete this one and we'll write our own code and it's gonna be just a couple of lines. So we're gonna say sub for subroutine. This is the name of a function that doesn't return anything. And uh, I'm going to say set active sheet very hidden. This is the name of my subroutine. This uh, end sub is where it ends. And uh, here what I need to do is say active sheet 
dot visible equals Excel sheet very hidden. Okay, that's uh, our uh, first subroutine. And uh, of course, when we hide things, we need to be able to unhide them. So I'm going to say sub set all sheets visible. And uh, this will be, we'll declare a variable WS as worksheet. This uh, like autocomplete is really rare in VBA, but uh, when you have it, you can use it. And then you're going to say for each WS in this workbook, actually I'm going to use active workbook dot worksheets. And here I'm going to say next WS. So this is a for each uh, block. So what it does is it takes all the worksheets in here and loops through them and performs some code for each worksheet. And then we can say next worksheet. So for each worksheet, we're going to say worksheet dot visible equals Excel sheet visible. Okay. And uh, this is uh, all our code. So now what we can do is uh, we can go back here and uh, right click. Let's say the home tab, right click, customize the ribbon. And uh, what I like to do is uh, I want to add those as buttons. So I'm just going to go to macros and I can see those two because they're in my personal uh, XOSB workbook. We can even create a new tab. Let's create a new tab, call this new tab, rename it, call it my awesome macros. And then in it, we'll have a new group, which will say visibility you can pick one of those whichever one you like i'm gonna go with this little piggy here and uh, then in here we can add those two and uh, i'm also gonna rename them so this is gonna be set to very hidden and i'm gonna use this red square and uh, this one set all sheets to visible will be show all sheets and I'm going to use a green rectangle here. Hit OK. And uh, now we have this My Awesome Macros, probably a bit of a long name. And uh, the idea is now that uh, if we go to the secret data, this worksheet that we want to hide, set to very hidden, and you see that it disappeared. If I right click here, I don't see it and unhide, but uh, this salary is still linking to this sheet. And I can just hit show all sheets and now it's uh, back to being visible. Let me just clean this up. I really love this uh, feature, this very hidden option that you can only access programmatically because it gives me an edge when I'm trying to keep my files from people messing them up. And uh, that's why I built it in uh, my add-in that you can check out on the first link in the description below called Minty Tools, and it has a bunch of features that are designed to save you a lot of time when working with Excel. And uh, that's what I have here, this uh, visibility options, which allows me to set different worksheets. For example, very hidden. This can be hidden. I can select all and say visible. And uh, they all show up down here. Anytime I get a file from someone who was clever enough to hide something, but uh, didn't think that I'll need it. I can also use this to unhide those very hidden worksheets and uh, gain access to all the data and all the model logic. Now that you know how to use the very hidden property to truly hide an Excel worksheet, I want to show you how I keep my files organized and easy to navigate. And I'm going to do that in this video up here. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in this video.